All right, this is Campbell's Soup Q2 2022. And there's not a whole lot to say about this quarter. Uh, they are um, still having lots and lots of trouble with inflation. Uh, inflation, as they're reporting, is up about 9%. And so for me, uh, this particular uh, company and following them uh, has really just been an update on uh, what the inflation looks like uh, right now in, in the state. Again, 9% is what they're seeing, and they're expecting that to increase uh, because of fuel costs. Uh, they did uh, say that uh, roughly 90 to 95% of their fixed costs are already contracted and taken care of. So uh, there won't be much variability um, in their ongoing uh, costs for the rest of the year. Uh, but it is important to note that they're expecting inflation to continue to rise. Um, as you can see, uh, they're down uh, roughly 2% um, for uh, this quarter um, versus last year. Uh, they're still reporting on this two-year basis. And again, that's because of the tremendous uh, increase uh, in sales that they saw uh, during the pandemic. How long that's going to continue, uh, that they'll be reporting these numbers, I don't know. but um, at this point, it's sort of a uh, far gone conclusion. I think at this point, we we clearly see that uh, regardless of, of what their prior um, uh, comps are, they are uh, again losing money, um, and a lot of that has to do with their uh, their inflationary cost. Uh, they did talk uh, about um, you know trying to improve on on cost, but Honestly, uh, we don't see that changing anytime soon. Um, they um, did report that uh, consumption is up, um, as you can see here by this graphic. Um, so they are actually uh, getting more people uh, to purchase the um, Campbell Soup products. Uh, but even though more people are purchasing, um, again, they're, they're losing money uh, for the quarter. Uh, they missed on revenue, uh, not surprisingly, uh, but they did beat on profit. And so that means that they are actually uh, doing something uh, to try and to correct this. Uh, they did increase prices uh, last couple quarters, and they expect to increase prices again, but we won't see the effect of those price increases until next quarter. Um, one thing that they did uh, come out with kind of a, a new thing, uh, which I don't know if it's going to have any sort of effect at all on sales, but the mega goldfish uh, was the thing that they uh, talked about most. Uh, as you can see by this graphic, they also have the Star Wars Mandalorian stuff, as well as the family size goldfish, but they, they really uh, talked a bit about uh, the mega goldfish. I think they expect that one to, to take off. Um, you know, I've, I've eaten goldfish and I've bought goldfish for babies uh, for, for many, many years. And uh, I like the goldfish, uh, but I'm not so sure uh, what this mega goldfish is going to look like. Uh, there is something of a size comparison, I guess, uh, here in the graphic. I can't imagine taking a bite out of a goldfish versus just popping a few in my mouth. So, um I, I don't know uh, what that's going to look like uh, going forward. Um, they did finally uh, talk about their um, football ad, um, something that I've talked about in, in previous uh, earnings call summaries. Um, I really liked those NFL uh, ads that they, they had years ago. And so uh, I want to show you what the Super Bowl ad looks like here. I didn't get a chance to see this, so I don't know, but a quick, short 15 second ad uh, that I guess played during halftime. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're trying, um, but again, uh, nothing is, is really uh, looking good for, for the company. They're really struggling. They did talk about um, going from playing defense to, to playing more offense. And so hopefully, We'll see that uh, the latter part of the year, but uh, until we see some real improvement in revenues, uh, we have to imagine that the, the stock price is going
going to continue